Let me make sure I got my volume turned all the way up. Hey guys, I'm back y'all with another video. So let's get into it guys. We're jumping into December. So let's see what messages we got. I'm going to start off with um, the Romance Angels Oracle deck here. And let's get a message in love and then we'll jump into the tarot. Alright, so let's see what messages we got. This is for the Cancer. What messages do we have for Cancer? What message do we have for a Cancer, please? Give me a message for Cancer going into December. Now, that's just way too many messages. Like, <laughs> let me reshuffle. Really All right. There we go. Ooh, okay. All right, so it looks like someone here, you could be dealing with someone from your past. It looks like someone from your past is either already returned or they're trying to return. Maybe they've gotten in contact with a friend. They reached out to you on social media. Maybe your friends on social media. But this person is trying to get you to forgive them um for something that happened previously they're trying to get you to let them back in um but there's definitely something that you need to pay attention to there are some red flags here that you need to take a look into okay so don't ignore the red flags but this person is coming back from the past this is a past person someone that you have already had dealings with and they're trying to come back so let me get some more info let's see what else I can get? Tell me more about this past person. What is this past person's intention towards cancer? What is this past person's intention towards cancer? Tell me their intentions towards cancer. So we got the chaser here. So for some of you, this could be a twin flame. And you guys have been going through the runner chaser phase. All right. So it looks like maybe it was a time where you were chasing them. And now the tables have turned. Okay. The tables have turned. All right. So, yeah. This person could be looking at your photos and feeling real nostalgic. You know, um, looking at old messages, looking at photos, just reminiscing. This person is reminiscing about you. And they're coming in. They're coming to rekindle. We got the Phoenix. They're coming in to rekindle, renew. <laughs> they changed their mind. Yeah. And they're coming to bring this paradise. Paradise is like the Four of Wands energy. This is happiness, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other, expansion, growth. Like, yeah, this person is definitely chasing behind you now. So they... They were the runner previously, and now the tables have most definitely turned. Okay, so let's get into it. Give me, tell me more about this person coming to this cancer. Tell me more about this person coming to this cancer. Ooh, ooh. Now, you know what? <laughs> this card gets blue. Okay, it was the Queen of Wands, but I'm not going to take it because I don't like taking the cards off the floor. But it was the Queen of Wands, so some of y'all could be dealing with the fire sign. Or you just light this person up, like the fire, the passion. Like this person feels so passionate about you. Still have that fire. They're trying to spark that passion back up between you two. Tell me more about this person that's coming towards Cancer. All right, so we got the judgment here at the bottom of the deck here, as well as the four of wands. I told you, they have made up their mind that they want to be around you. They want to connect with you. They want to build with you. They want to grow with you. And this could possibly lead to a marriage, okay? Yes, some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo. 
they're not sure why you guys really split. But they they do know that the passion and the fire is still there. Yeah. They do know that the passion and fire is still there. Like, that part never left. I said, like, y'all went through a type of separation, but the fire was still there. Okay? This person feels lonely without you. They feel left out in the cold. The five of pentacles energy. Like, they feel rejected. Three of wands. The hangman, there's lots of waiting. This person really missed you. Really, really is missing you. Three of swords. Did I tell you this person is hurt? This person is so sad. Like, this person is, like, damn near depressed. Like, really. King of Cups. More, like, emotional energy. It could be a water sign like you. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this person really, really cares about you. And the magician. Okay. So now going forward, they're trying to manifest you into their world. That ace of wands. They want a new start with you. They want a new start with you. I see you. Um, <laughs> your energy is the seven of wands energy. I feel like you you stood up for yourself. For some of you, you haven't stood up for yourself in a long time. But you stood up to this person. And this person is so worried and overthinking this. They are fearful, but they're being patient. Like, they're being patient, but they're trying to manifest you into their reality. Okay, now tell me more about this King of Cups. The Hermit. They feel so lost. When I tell you, this person feels so lost without you. They've been spying on you, too. Could be a Sagittarius with the Temperance card here. They've been spying on you. Page the Swords. They've been spying on you to see if you have other options. Like, what else are you doing? What's, you know, what's keeping you away? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Tell me more. Some of you could be dealing with the Virgo. The Will. They feel like they missed their chance with you. They feel like they messed up. They feel like they missed a chance with you. Maybe they weren't ready. I see somebody running away here. Being impulsive. Could be a king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Or this person was more focused over here looking at the pentacles here. And they chose to just run off. <sighs> They're regretting it now. Now they're in Three of Swords energy. Why is the Three of Swords here? Eight of Pentacles. So this person is trying to heal. They've been looking for you. <laughs> They've been feeling alone. Like if some some of them actually live alone, or they could possibly be in a situation with this Four of Wands here, but they're not there mentally. Oh, this is the judgment. This is them making that final decision that they want to be with you. They tried to hurt you and it backfired. I'm hearing backfired. It backfired. Now tell me more about this magician. The Queen of Cups. Didn't I tell you? They are trying to manifest you, honey. They're trying to manifest you. Okay, now look at this. They're being sneaky about how they're doing it. Seven of Swords and Three of Pentacles. They're being very sneaky about how they're coming towards you. Okay. They're being very tricky. They're putting out tricks. <laughs> Rabbits out of hats. They're doing whatever they got to do to get close to you. Because they want this new energy. They want a new beginning with you. Tell me more about this Ace of Wands. Ten of Cups. Didn't I tell you? They want this Ten of Cups energy with you. They want a new start with you. And this is going to be out of the blue. You're going to hear from this person. The Tower and the Eight of Wands. You're going to hear from this person really, really soon. But they're scared. They're worrying. They're overthinking. They're overthinking. <laughs> yes, they are overthinking. But the outcome is the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. And the Five of Cups. Yeah, they're regretting. <laughs> they're regretting. 
that they weren't honest with you with the seven of swords and the moon they regret letting so much time go by Yeah, they're tired of feeling sorry, feeling sorry for themselves. Could be definitely a fire sign, but they still very much have so much passion for you. Like they have so much fire um, that they still have for you. They still have this. And this is the truth, honey. This is the truth, the Ace of Swords. But they're tired of feeling lonely. They're tired of feeling like they missed their, their chance. The challenge is them waiting, waiting for, possibly waiting for somebody to see if somebody better was going to come along, waiting to see what else was out there, but couldn't find you, couldn't find another you. Yep, the world, they couldn't find another you, even if they tried. The love is too strong. The chemistry is too strong. Strength and the lovers. Wow. <laughs> they couldn't find another you if they wanted to. Let's get some messages of love. I'm going to pull a message from here and then I'm going to let you guys head out. Be sure, guys, to check out my website. It is www.empressempireoils.com. As well, if you're interested in booking a personal reading, my email address is going to be in the in the drop box below as well. So, tell me how does this person feel about cancer? Well, oh shoot, so many things remind me of you. I replay our conversations over and over. I love you unconditionally. I couldn't let you get close to me too is one here as well. So they may have been running because you two have gotten to, you may have gotten closer to them than they've ever let anybody get close to them. So that's the message that I have for cancers. All right, if this message resonated with you guys, be sure to hit the thumbs up as well as share with your family and your friends. All right, until next time, guys, I'm gonna chat with y'all later. Ciao.